In this short lecture, we're just going to fill out the index page so that it presents a blurb and some links that allow a user to access their account or sign in or sign up or what have you. The first thing that we need to do is update the handler for index so that it includes some real metadata. So we want to set the title in the head to uptime monitoring made simple and you can set it to whatever you want. The description, the meta description, I'm going to say we offer free, simple, uptime monitoring for HTTP, HTTPS sites of all kinds. When your site goes down, we'll send you a text to let you know. We won't be using the body title anymore. That was just an example so that you could see how templating worked within the index template. But we will be using the body class set to index. As I mentioned before, our CSS file already includes the CSS that we'll need for this page. And so we don't need to add any more. We just need to update the actual template. Here I'm going to update this h1 to say uptime monitoring. I'm going to add an H2 that says made simple. And that's kind of the slogan of this application. Now I want to add a blurb in the middle of the page. So I'm just going to say it's a div for the class blurb. And this blurb is just going to say the same thing that we said in the meta description. So I'm just going to copy that from here. Now we want to put a call to action that are going to be wrapped in a div so that they can be centered. And so the div they're wrapped in is called CTA wrapper. And we have two CTAs that are both links, both A tags with classes. One of them is going to link to account slash create, which is where you should go if you want to sign up. It's going to say get started. Then we're going to have another link right next to it. That's a CTA in blue. And it's going to link to session slash create. And it will be called login. With the CSS already in place, we can start this up and see what it looks like. There you go. So that is the home page of our application. Just to spread this out a bit and push the footer down, I'm going to add some lorem ipsum text here. Save that again. Now, it's important point, since we are reading in these templates at the moment of the HTTP request, we don't need to restart the server in order to be able to reload the page and see the new template. They're being read off the file system at the moment of the HTTP request. So there we go. Now it's looking more like a normal website. We can click here to get started, click here to log in. And later on, this menu will be changed so that someone who's viewing it and is logged out will only see sign up and log in. So that's all we need to do for the index file for the root of our website. And now we can move on to the next lecture.